Today, we received a piece of breaking theater news. The Tony Awards are back. What? After being postponed indefinitely shortly after the Broadway shutdown, rumors began to circulate that a fall award show would be the move. Today, we received official confirmation that that is indeed the move, with a couple of major changes. We've got a lot to discuss, so let's jump into it. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Kat and I really like musicals. If you really like musicals, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet cult. We're not like a weird cult. We just worship Stephen Sondheim. All hail Sondheim. Question of the day, what are your thoughts on the Tony Awards coming back for this year? Are you excited? Do you think it should have stayed canceled? Do you not really care either way because not enough shows have come out? I'd love to hear your opinions, so let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so here's the story. Originally, pre-pandemic, the Tony Awards broadcast was scheduled for June 7th. However, just a few weeks after the Broadway shutdown in March, it was a announced that the Tony Awards would be canceled. There was some talk about streaming the Tony Awards or doing a pared down version, but that idea was ultimately scrapped in favor of a sing-along version of the movie Grease. But now the Tony Awards are back and they're digital. Now something to keep in mind, the Tony Awards are only for productions that open on Broadway that year. So longer running shows like Phantom of the Opera or Mean Girls or Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen, The Lion King, none of those would be eligible. In fact, to be considered for the 2019-2020 Tony Award, a show would have to have been opened by April 23rd. So when Broadway shut down due to the pandemic on March 12th, it was peak Tony Award season. Well, not peak because tons of shows for the 2019-2020 season had yet to open. In fact, 16 shows that should have been eligible for Tony Award nomination never had the chance to open. And these included the likes of potential heavy hitters like Mrs. Doubtfire, Six, Diana, and the revival of Company. And you guys know how much I love Company. So the Tony Award Administration Committee has not yet announced what the new cutoff will be, aka which shows will be eligible for this year. Additionally, it seems like the Tony Tony Awards will not be broadcast on CBS as usual. This year, they intend to go digital with a streamed version of the show. Now, we briefly discussed this for the first time when Greasegate happened because it seemed like a possibility even back then. CBS was not interested in producing a socially distant or pared down version of the show. We've been seeing record-breakingly low numbers in the last few years, which definitely doesn't help out with the networks. So the Tony Awards are back on. What are my thoughts on the matter? First and foremost, I am thrilled that the shows that open this season will get the recognition that they deserve. Especially in a time when we're all missing theater and live performance so much, I think a big night to just celebrate Broadway is way overdue and much needed. I find the Tony Awards such like a morale booster and such a touching moment, I think for everyone in the performing arts. This is our Super Bowl! But like an emotionally fraught, empowering Super Bowl! Which I guess might be the regular Super Bowl for some people. That's good, that's fair. It's definitely weird that some shows that should have been included for this season won't be. Another thing to consider is that tons of audience members head to New York when the nominations come out. This can be a great boost to ticket sales and publicity, so it kind of sucks that the shows won't reap the immediate financial benefit that they should have. I'm also very curious to see what a minimal digital version of the Tony Awards looks like. Could that be the new normal? I mean, personally, I hope not, but depending on how it goes and how it does financially, I could definitely see it happen happening. Anyway, those are just a couple of my thoughts on the newly announced 2020 Tony Awards. I want to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this digital version? Have you seen any of the shows that have been nominated? And do you have any front runners? If you guys liked this video or if you want more Broadway news videos in the future, give this one a big thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Tony Awards 2020! Celebrate Broadway! Yeah! I'm excited.